Indigo is focused on solving three problems. The first is improving the environmental sustainability of farming. The second is improving the consumer health and nutrition of the food that we produce. And then the third is improving the profitability of farmers. And we do that using two technologies, microbiology that can replace a lot of the fertilizer and chemicals used today, and then data sciences, which helps farmers make better farming decisions. I had sold my previous company and was taking some time off to think about what did I want to do next and concluded that the problems of food and agriculture are some of the biggest that we face in the world today. One of the challenging things about building a company in agriculture is that there haven't been a lot of technology successes in agriculture. So if, you, if you look at all of the technology that's driving the software industry or the medical industry, you know, all of those technologies theoretically apply to agriculture but in fact haven't really been adopted by agriculture for various reasons. So there's a huge uphill climb to figure out how to create the infrastructure to be able to overcome that industry inertia. I've been running venture-funded startups for the last 20 years, and therefore I've spent a lot of time talking to potential investors. Overall, I've been successful. I've raised well over a billion dollars. But I fail much more often than I'm successful. At one point I did the math, I talked to 53 investors for every one I got to say yes. And it still surprises me every time when somebody says no. What I've learned over time is that the no's don't matter and you just keep going until you find someone with whom your idea and story resonates.